What's the crack, lads, and welcome to this week's eFootball 2022 roundup for the news and any updates as well as new legends. It's not a huge uh, week for, for new stuff. Uh, there is a couple of things here and there, but uh, yeah, just to keep you guys up to date, short and sweet, as I say. So kicking us off, we do have a new functionality coming to game plans. So obviously, these are the squad lists that you can have where you can switch between 10 game plans. They introduced this in the V1.1 update, but you weren't able to, to save um more than 10 and you weren't able to name them you weren't able to delete them so if you met a squad and you made a mistake you weren't able to do anything with it or you weren't able to name it so you could have 10 squads and be looking through your squads and be like not knowing which squad was which and stuff like that so they are looking to to change a couple of those that in a future update you will be able to rename and delete the game list that you have so whichever squad that you want um for example if you want to create a squad that's just you know barcelona players you can actually call it barcelona now like barcelona 11 or whatever and you won't have to be guessing oh which one was it was it number six was it number seven was it number three i can't remember so yeah i mean simple things like this yeah they just need to have these stuff in it um and think of the functionality of it but it's nice that they are adding it obviously it should have been in from launch but yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully it's added quite soon. Next up, we have got uh, regarding the antenna icon during matchmaking. So this is um, this is definitely something that I'm interested in because it shows and it's going to show in a future update, a future enhancement to the antenna icon display so that it can better reflect your connectivity status to your opponent. So yeah, I mean, this is a five level indicator. Obviously, we remember the ping bars from before in PES 2021 and PES 20. And with the bet the beta as well from uh, the eFootball beta that we played back in like June or July last year, um, there was a kind of a way to see what like your connection your opponent was on. Whereas every match seems to be five uh, bar now, which definitely isn't always the case because when you go in to play the match, the five bar can be more like a two bar. So yeah, they do need to implement these changes that they are going to be adding these as well. So during the ma today's maintenance, uh, which the game is still in at the moment, the servers are still down. They say we will be implementing changes to, to the criteria of the antenna icon display based in your connectivity environment. So maybe that means that you'll be able to see if people are playing on Wi-Fi. Maybe it'll see, you know, if you're in a match and it's like, okay, there's a four bar connection here, but this guy's playing on Wi-Fi. You can just back out and not even go into the match with that opponent. So yeah, uh, we will see what the crack is with that, but that's definitely needed. Uh, next up, we've got a new update file. So V1.1.3 is not out for consoles yet, but it is out for mobile. And it seems to be that they've just implemented new changes to the classic control type. There is more information here on the classic control button issue that uh, I think it was taken up on the mobile version of eFootball 22. It was taken up more of the screen and then, you know, half it was cut off and stuff. You can see there that there is going to be an apology of 5,000 GP, which seems to be the go-to um, apology amount. I don't know why they have a 5,000 GP all the time, but... Um, yeah, I mean, you can uh, you can probably obviously have a read of this if you are into the, the mobile version. Um, but it says here that there was an issue with certain devices where it's difficult to actually use the, the control and directional pad on the touchscreen. So, yeah, um, obviously getting controller support in is big there as well. Uh, next up, they say that there is additional maintenance. So the maintenance is going to be on for another hour, obviously, uh, from 6 to 8 UTC. So obviously it might be extended again. Um, as far as I know, it, it, it probably has been extended by the time that this video goes out. And then last but not least, we have got a new legends. So three new legends enter the fray. Carlos is one that really interests me, even though um, I do have a very solid kind of like left back in Alfonso Davies. But yeah, Carlos will be really interest me. And then Makalele is a brand new legend that has never been on console before. He was on the mobile edition last season um, or halfway during the new season. Um, but yeah, we've got Makalele, Morientes and Roberto Carlos. And we have a little trailer here as well, which we're going to play for you. Uh, so this is the official trailer that came out. Atención que la puede liar. Roberto Carlos. ¡Gol! ¡Vaya cañonazo! ¡Maquelele! ¡Perfecta esa entrada! ¡La centra!
All right, so that is the trailer and that is your news roundup for this week, the 7th of the 7th, 2022. Let me know what you guys think. We'll be back quite soon with another couple of videos, but until next time, we will talk to you in a bit.